Hi, this is Mandy Goodson, and this is my five-minute lecture on pityriasis. What is pityriasis? Pityriasis is one of any of a number of skin diseases that have in common lesions that resemble dandruff-like scales without obvious signs of inflammation. Today, we'll focus on pityriasis rosea. There is also pityriasis alba, versicolor, rubra pilaris, lichenoids chronica, and rotunda. Pityriasis rosea means fine pink scale. It manifests as an acute self-limiting papulosquamous eruption with a duration of six to eight weeks. It evolves rapidly, usually beginning with a patch that heralds the eruption, the so-called herald patch. This is also called the mother patch. It may sometimes occur in atypical variants or may mimic other skin disorders such as tinea corporis and secondary syphilis. The cause is unknown. Risk factors include being between the ages of 15 and 40 years old. It is most prevalent in the spring and autumn. Women are more frequently affected, especially those who are pregnant. In previous dermatologic diseases and manifestations, including previous pityriasis rosea and the immunocompromised are at greater risk. Questions for your workup, number one, regarding past medical history, you wanna ask the patient about recent illness, chronic illness, skin conditions, and pregnancy, and a history of STIs. There's a higher incidence among patients with decreased immunity. In other words, those who are pregnant, examples, uh, or those who have bone marrow transplant recipients, or those who have HIV. PR has been linked to upper respiratory infections, and atopic seborrheic dermatitis and acne are more common in patients with PR. Number two, regarding the past medical history, you want to ask the patient about current or recent medications they've used and any vaccines. Pityriasis rosea-like eruptions can also occur in association with many drugs as listed in the slide, as well as certain vaccines including the BCG, HPV, and diphtheria vaccines. Also, ampicillin increases the distribution of the eruption, which is an effect bearing a striking resemblance to the drug's effect on the rash of mononucleosis. Third question is regarding the history of present illness. You want to ask the patient about onset, location, duration, alleviating, aggravating, setting, timing, severity, and associated symptoms. About 50% of patients will have moderate pruritus, particularly during the outbreak. There may be mild constitutional symptoms prior to the onset, and usually the symptoms, or sometimes the symptoms may be worse when the skin gets warm, such as it, for exercise or Physical exam components. PR commonly occurs in otherwise healthy individuals, so there may not be a lot of abnormalities going on in the physical exam. We want to concentrate on the rash and identify the mother or the herald patch and the daughter patches. It is rare for a person to get only daughter patches or only mother patches or a mother patch. You want to note the character of the rash. The herald patch is usually large and obvious. It's scaly and salmon colored. Daughter patches are often oval shaped. They may appear in clusters and form a Christmas tree pattern. You will also want to know the location of the rash. PR occurs in areas that are not exposed to the sun frequently, so usually appears on the chest, abdomen, back, arms, and legs. Patches can even develop inside the mouth. Patches rarely appear on the face, scalp, arm, or palms, or the soles. Treatment for PR includes primarily symptomatic treatment of pruritus. So bland emollients, topical zinc oxides, calamine lotion, or oatmeal baths can be supportive. Patients may take oral hist antihistamines to help with the itching and also to rest, or topical corticosteroids can be used as needed. Patient teaching includes reassurance that the rash is self-limiting. It's generally benign and the recurrence rate is low. It's not considered a transmissible disease, so the patient may return to work or school. And import, most importantly, the patient should avoid exposure to irritant, uh, irritants, including harsh soaps, fragrances, hot water, wool, and synthetic fabrics, and also avoid wearing tight clothing and scratching the rash. The last few slides are pictures of the other forms of pityriasis. And here are my references. Thank you for listening.